beautiful story of four beggars, four starving beggars. They went to a king and they were begging for food. And they said, we're suffering too much, your majesty. We are poor and we don't have anything. We can't afford to feed our families. We're intensely hungry and thirsty. We haven't eaten for days and for nights. Please give us some food and some water. The king hesitated for a second and looking at each of them in turn, he then muttered to them. I need to ask you a question first. What does each of you own at this moment? The first beggar? He says, I only own some furniture which I inherited from my grandfather. They hold no value to me. The second beggar, he then followed. The only thing that I own is a bookcase full of old books which I inherited from my elder brother. They are worthless to me now. The third beggar, he responded. What I own is just some old sewing machine from in which my mother had passed down to me. It's faulty, it's useless to me now. And the fourth beggar, he then whistled out. He says, the only thing that I own is a large piece of farmland which I inherited from my father. That's all, nothing more. And upon listening to the four beggars, the king was silent for a moment. However, he then asked three of them to go to the dining room, excluding the fourth. That person started to think and to wonder. In the dining room, the three beggars were served with a variety of food and fruits and drinks and many things to eat. And they were also offered things to take back to their families as well. Meanwhile, the fourth beggar was left hungry and was given nothing. He was sad in turn. As the four of them left the palace, the king attendants, they then went straight to the king and they asked, Your Majesty, why didn't you give food to the fourth beggar? And the king then answered, he says a man who owns a farmland shouldn't complain of being hungry. If he cannot plant food in his large piece of land, then he is a very foolish man. In fact, he is his own worst enemy. The attendant thought for a moment and mumbled, you know what, you are right. He is truly his own worst enemy. I want you to understand this. A beautiful moral today goes like this. The biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. Oftentimes we make ourselves beggars when we are meant to be givers. We are born as lions, strong, and we have the right to choose how to live, to live like sheep or however we want to live. Most of us, we have self-inflicted our own suffering, our pain, and built walls, brought limitations upon ourselves. We are blinded to all the riches and the success around us that we don't even know our own worth and we settle for less. However, it is important that you take a moment to recognize who you really are. You have to believe in yourself and ultimately make good of use of what you have and always think big and dream big as well. Don't let your mind enslave you. Be the king that you are meant to be. Be the queen that you are meant to be. And most importantly, be wise. Pandit Argo sign, Jai Sitaram.